Hey guys, hold up, let me fix this light. Hold up. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to be doing this brown halo eye I did. Hope you guys can see it. Oh, and, and I know my eyebrows are two different shapes. This one is very, like, this one is art. Uh, this will happen today, so let's do it. So I started off, I primed my eyelid with golden. This concealer and this, um, same powder. And now, I'm going to take, like I always do, my e.l.f. eye defining brush. And this brown shade right here. Warm tone brown and put that in the crease. Also, one of my other videos on my other channel with my friend Jen, it got copyrighted because <laughs> I was playing music in the background. I thought, I thought, because I was playing, I had my songs on shuffle. And I just thought, oh, it's going to be okay. Because one of my videos on here didn't get copyrighted on this channel. But on the other channel, it did. And I, I played a certain song on that channel. So I thought, oh, it, it will be that song. The song was Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. I'm going to try to drag this out a little bit. That's what I do on the other eye. But the whole time, though. The song that got copyrighted was Blood, Sweat, and Tears by BTS. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm thinking, oh. So then, YouTube basically took the audio out, I think. Because I didn't, and my friend didn't, so. So after that. I'm going to take this. It's kind of similar to my everyday look. Also, school started for me. I'm, ta I'm tapping this off. I'm wipe. Oh. I'm going to wipe this brush off because it got like glitter on there. From this eye. This halo eye. So now I'm just going to take this shade right here. Camouflage green. And then that right where I put the brow shade. And try to bring it down some. Like just put it right here. Try to pick it on right there. Leaving my my middle of my lid still brown. So after that, if the eye looks like this, I'm taking this flat or this angle brush and that same green shade and just trying to put it on the out around my center lid and blend that out again with the same blending brush. Just a pack on color. So now I'm gonna take this darky shade, my Pro Future Concert Kit, and put on the same brush and do the same thing. 
like build it up a little and dim it, do dim blend. I'll put that right here. Put that right here. And blend. This is the elf bending brush also. Costs like a dollar from Walmart. So I'm gonna just dip my blending brush in there and try to pack it on. Put it in my in the corner. I mean in my crease. <laughs> so I don't think it's hello enough, so I'm gonna fix this up, but I'll be right back. So in that I'm after fixing that, I'm just going to take this off. I mean, off Ulta eyeshadow in the shade Penny as a base for my next two eyeshadows because I didn't like the way this one looked on its own. So I'm gonna just put that down the middle and just put it through the like, blend it up. And then I don't like the way this looks by itself with like this look. So now I'm going to go in with this shimmer right here. Because that. Where I just put the other one. And then I also didn't like that one by these two together. That was still a little too brown. <sighs> Sorry. So I just took, oh my god, it dug into a eyeshadow. <laughs> this is a mess. It dug into my eyeshadow. The shade I was supposed to, I'm about to use, it dug into it. See it? So then I'm gonna just use this, that gold shade. At least I can move it around and press it down. I got too much of my brush. Oh, not just my skin. Cause the top of that had to break, yo. So now I'm just gonna press that where I just put the other two shades so they'll look more golden brown. But not like a copper. So after that, I went up too far, and now I'm going to take my blending brush and take the green shade on there from earlier. This green, oh, the green shade from earlier. This one right here, and blend that around it softly, though. Oh my god, I just hit pen. Look, you can see it on the green. I thought I was gonna hit pen on the warm orange first, but the green. Okay, so we're gonna go around softly. I was hoping I hit pen on the warm tone brown first, but it's okay. I guess I'm gonna use this for a while also. This is my first time hitting pan on anything, so that makes me happy. Ooh, I really hit pan. So, yeah. After that, I'm underneath my eye. I'm doing it right now because I don't like fallout on my face. So, I'm just gonna take this pencil brush and the green shade. <laughs> 
and smoke that underneath on my spine. And I'm going to take the doggy shade in my contour kit and do the same. Oh, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and everything. I'm going to do that right now. And then... Where's my brush? I'm going to take this pencil brush and that... And this iridescent pink shade right here. I'll swatch it. Which one is it? This one? It's how it looks on the finger. I'll just swatch it in the back of my hand. It's really pretty. The camera not picking it up, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna put that in the brow bone. I know the pink don't really go with this look, but it's okay. And in the inner corner. Brow one. Oh, got it on my brow. You see? And now I'm just going to put this CoverGirl eyeliner on. This is how I swatch it. It's really black. And my waterline. And then I'll appear with that back on. And my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and a wing. So I'll be right back. For primer, I'll be using the e.l.f. poreless primer. For foundation, I might be mixing my Clinique clove foundation and my maybelline matte Femi foundation in 375 so after that this is what the i mixed the two and now i'm going to use my la girl pro conceal and beautiful bronze to highlight my face so after that i'm going to set with my makeup revolution banana powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my luxury press powder and the shade hot cocoa I'm gonna contour using this profusing palette in the darker shade I'm using the studio blush palette in this shade right here I'm highlighting with elves big highlighter in the shade blush gems Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. The main reason why I did this look is because I thought I'm trying. I, I got picture day Monday, and I was want to look good in my picture this year for once. So I might, I might put on this lip good lipstick, but I don't know. I wanted to be crackly. So I'm gonna line my lips with this purple lip liner real quick, and be right back. Sorry, the camera position has switched a bunch of times, but I'm gonna put on the purple lipstick. Hopefully, I like it. Because I swatched this and it's hard to get off. So, streaky. Smell good, though. It's streaky.
I'm gonna let this dry and then do another layer. I'm gonna try a second layer. It dried down mostly, but it's a sticky look. I'm like, ew. The applicator is nice. I'm gonna do another layer on top. This is a mess. Look, the whole thing is a pair I put my lips together. I'm taking this off. Yup. This this is a cute color, but it's a mess. So I'll be right back. So this is the final look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, that thing stay my thumb. Even after I took off the purple lipstick, it still was sticky on my lip. So I just used some Blistex to really wipe it off. So yeah. <laughs> I hate this product. Just saying, it's in a sh it's a beautiful shade, but the formula is a mess. This is NYX by ColourPop. It's a lippy stick. Also, check out my social medias down below. My other channel. Bye. <laughs>